battling a weakened currency and soaring custom tax rates, Egyptians are steering towards purchasing second-hand damaged cars instead of brand new models. I buy these cars that have been in road accidents and sell them just as they are. I go to dealerships, check what cars they have. They may have 10 or 20 cars, so I buy them. Then people come from villages or from Cairo, and I sell them the car as it is. For example, this car's fender is damaged, but it's sold as it is. At least its price will be less than the market price. The central bank abandoned a peg of 8.8 .8 Egyptian pounds to the US dollar. In addition, inflation soared after the government cut fuel and energy subsidies. The measures led to many tightening their wallets and changing their purchasing habits. Cars today cost 280,000 or 300,000 Egyptian pounds. So not anyone can afford to buy that. But when the car has been in an accident, its price drops to 130,000. And when fixed, it will reach 200,000. The pound's post-float depreciation helped Egyptian exports. But this did little for prices of dollar-dependent imports, which soared in response to the pound's value. This, coupled with a higher custom tax rate and rising inflation, has left many cash-conscious buyers unable to splurge on expensive cars. The story is cars get hit, so if you buy a car from here, it saves you money compared to new models. For example, the car's bonnet might need some fixing, so if you bring in another bonnet and change it, that's all. The cars usually don't have much mileage on them anyway, so it can be fixed easily. It's not an issue. Now, Egyptians find it cheaper to buy and fix second-hand cars. Vic Chege, CGTN.